What's going on, Houdat Nation? It's your boy, Buddy Yoda, back at it again with another Saints video. And today, I'm going to be my, doing my official Week 2 NFL Power Rankings. Uh, for this, I'm going to break down all 32 teams where I think they stack and land, like what I've, where I've got them currently in the uh, in terms of power rankings, as the name <laughs> says. Uh, at 32, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. They were already really low to me after losing some of their guys in Travis Etienne. But losing against the Texans, who I had as the worst team, that just can't happen. Uh, I don't know if Urban Meyer lasts the entire year here, personally. Uh, at 31, I've got the New York Jets. I, did, I think they show some promise, but... I just don't really have a lot of faith in them right now. Hopefully they can prove me wrong because I think they got a really good story. At 30, I have the Texans. Good story beating the Jaguars, but I could see this being a Jack situation from last year where they only end up winning one game this year and lose the rest of them. Uh, at 29, I have the Lions. I do... I, I was tempted to put them higher for how they came back against the 49ers, but their defense, I think, is a little too suspect to move them up too high. At 28, I have Atlanta. They got thrashed by uh, the Eagles in their home stadium. So they're at 28 for me. At 27, I have the New York Giants. Uh, pretty disappointing all around. Daniel Jones looks okay, but overall, I just don't think their team's in a good situation. At 26, I have Chicago. If they start Justin Fields, they'll move up higher. I'm just going to say that. Matt Nagy, I'm going to say this, is handicapping himself badly by starting Andy Dalton over Justin Fields. At 25, I have the Philadelphia Eagles. Had a nice win against Atlanta. Let's see if they keep it up. Jalen Hurts looks pretty good. At 24, I have Carolina. Sam Darnold looked okay in his uh, Panthers debut, and Christian McCaffrey looks like he's back to full health. At 23, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. They've had a nice upset against the Vikings in week one. Uh, Joe Burrow looks pretty healthy. Good sign from Jamar Chase being able to catch the football like we'd heard a lot of reports that he hadn't been able to. So it's nice to see that happening for him. At 22, I have the Dallas Cowboys. Had a really good game against the Buccaneers, but I think that defense and secondary is still going to hold them back tremendously. At 21, I have Washington. Uh... Their defense hasn't looked anything too spectacular recently. Uh, it might just be some growing pains, but let's see if hopefully they'll rebound back. Uh, Heineke looks like he's going to be the starting quarterback for a little bit as Fitzpatrick is out for a few weeks, so let's see how he does. At 20, I have Minneapolis. Uh, bad loss to the Bengals. That's what moves them down this far. At 19, I have Indianapolis. Yes, they lost to the C. Adel Seahawks, but I can still see some growing pains with Carson Wentz getting back from that injury, as well as Quentin Nelson. At 18, I have the Denver Broncos. Had a nice showing against the Giants in Week 1. Uh, let's see if that defense keeps it together. And Teddy looks like a guy who won't lose you any games, but won't uh, put the ball in harm's way either. Uh, 17, I have the Titans. Took an absolute thrashing from the Cardinals. Chandler Jones had five sacks. If, I think if the season ended right now, you'd have to give him... MVP for the amount of sacks he put up against uh, the Titans. He was just dominant. So that moves him down here. Uh, 16, I have the Las Vegas Raiders. Pretty uh, big win on Monday night football against the Ravens, who I had really high up in the top 10. So it's nice to see them. Let's see if they keep their momentum going. At 15, I have the Patriots. Even though they lost, I still think they looked pretty decent. I think Mac Jones has very good potential. I think he had the best rookie debut out of any of the rookie quarterbacks in week one. Uh, at 14, I have uh, Miami. Uh, barely squeaked one out against the Patriots. I'm really starting to worry a little bit about Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, analytics show that if he try, if he if his first read's not there, he is has a hard time coming to the second read and tends to just throw it up to guys. At 13, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, big upset win against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, defense should still be dominant, but I what I'm worried about is down the stretch, how will Big Ben uh, be healthy and like how will he perform? Uh, at 12, I have the Chargers. Uh, really like what I'm seeing from Herbert. I think they have really good possibility to make the playoffs this year. At 11, I have Baltimore losing to the Raiders, who I had ranked pretty low before uh, the Monday night game. You can't have that happen. Um, their offensive line, I think, is in very bad shape, and I could easily see that being what 
hurts them badly and is their detriment. At 10, I have San Francisco. Uh, won against Detroit, but almost lost as they almost came back. Uh, so that's that. And they lost, they're they losing uh, some of their guys. I They lost some of their running backs as well as one of their corners. They're out for the season, so that's bad. Number nine, I have the Green Bay Packers. Uh, took an absolute thrashing from the New Orleans Saints, 38-3. to Aaron Rodgers just didn't like he wanted to be out there at all. So, got the Packers at number nine. At number eight, I've got the New Orleans Saints. Man, had a hell of a game from them. Uh, Jameis Winston, five touchdowns, but less than 150 yards. Hopefully, this week against Carolina, he can put up some more numbers. Uh, with a little bit more yardage and some more touchdowns to it. Had a very nice, beautiful pass to uh, Deontay Harris uh, near the end of the fourth quarter. And overall, just dominant game. Uh, number seven, I have the Arizona Cardinals thrash the Tennessee Titans, who many had as a dark horse Super Bowl contender this year. Um, that offense looks amazing. That defense, uh, if they can stay healthy, I think they'll be great. And number six, I still have I have the Buffalo Bills. Yes, they took the loss to Pittsburgh, but I expect them to bounce back and not to be completely out of it yet. At five, I have the Seattle Seahawks. Had a great, great game against Indianapolis. Russ is looking like an MVP candidate right now. We'll see if it's, see if that narrative holds up. At four, I have the Cleveland Browns. Yes, they lost, but I think they played an amazing game overall. Uh, what I think lost them that game was their punter uh, botching it bat, uh, the punt badly. And at the very end of the game, Baker Mayfield had a chance to win it. He, I, he was trying to throw it out of bounds, it seems, but got hit from behind. So it, uh, he wasn't able to get as much power into it as well to throw it out of bounds. So it ended up being intercepted. But I like what I ha they have in Cleveland. Uh, number three, I have the L.A. Rams. Matthew Stafford w looked like a dog out there. He was amazing throwing – Great, long, deep, developing routes. I think their offense is going to be amazing. Let's see how their, if their defense stands up with the loss of Brandon Saley. But you still have Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, arguably, arguably the two best defensive players in the NFL currently. And number two, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, no change from where I had them ranked before the season. Uh, uh, you've got Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, and Travis Kelsey, and Andy Reid. If, if you have those four guys, you're going to be competitive as long as you can keep Mahomes upright. And at number one, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, it sucks as a Saints fan that they're still up this high, but you got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, the offense still looked really good. Tom Brady threw two picks, and it really didn't seem to matter in the end. Uh, their defense had a few injuries, but I still think they'll be fine. So that is my week two official NFL power rankings. Let me know what you think, and as always... Who that?